Hey, what is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video, My Sports Gametria. In this video, I'm going to go over UFC 261 for Saturday, April 24th, 2021. I'm going to show you both sides of each fighter, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these fights, you'll have to join my Patreon with my picture always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your picks today. Let's go ahead and get into the fights. We're going to be looking at UFC 261, Usman versus Masvidal. I'm going to look at all five fights that are on the card. So we'll start down here with Anthony Smith and uh, Jimmy Crute. On the side is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian, and Hebrew calendar. This side is what I call my game numbers. So we have the name of the event, 261, 261, Gematria, the arena that it's in. Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida, Gematria, the class weight. And then right here we have one fighter. <clears throat> Excuse me. His name, birthday to and from, his fight record, and, he, and his UFC record, head-to-head -head Gematria, and then another fighter right here. His birthday to and from, his fight record, UFC record. So let's get into Jimmy Crew and Anthony Smith. You know, I really want Jimmy Crute to lose just so I can uh, brag and be like, look, see, the Hebrew calendar is amazing. But I'm just not so sure that's going to happen. And I probably won't bet against Jimmy Crute. Maybe, maybe not, but you have to tell me what you think. Twelfth day of the second month on the Hebrew religious, like 12-2-122. The 42nd day of the Hebrew religious year with the loss, Jimmy Crute can become 12-2 and two for a fight record. And he can become 4-2 and two for a UFC record with the loss. 122-42. Do I want Jimmy Crute to become the Hebrew calendar in his overall fight record and in his UFC record? Yes, I do. But it's for a selfish reason, so I can brag and be like, ha ha, see, the Hebrew calendar is relevant. But um, we have another pattern here. <laughs> Anthony Smith, 51st fight for his career. The words Smith versus Crute sums to 51. Jimmy Crew, it's 51 days since his birthday, and he could become 5-1, like 51, for a UFC record with a win. He would be fighting the 32-year-old Anthony Smith. The words Anthony Smith sums to 158, just like the words 32 sums to 158. And Jimmy Crew can become 13-1 for a fight record. With a win, 131, the 32nd prime number. So you have those two narratives there. Uh, so, uh, some other things that are interesting that could be in favor for Anthony would be him sitting on 16 losses with the win in his 16th UFC fight. I would think that would be a favorable thing for him. Uh, but for Jimmy Crew, it's the 52nd, 51 days or the 52nd day of his 25-year-old age. 52 25 reflections of each other. Anthony Smith could become 9 and 7 for a UFC record with the loss 97, the 25th prime number. Maybe it has something to do with that. It's 314 or a total span of 315 days till Jimmy Crude's next birthday. Jacksonville, Florida, sums to 315, which is kind of interesting. Um. 69 date numerology on the Gregorian 69 sums to 139 the 34th prime number Anthony Smith could just sit on 34 wins with the loss so um Jimmy Crew got that Hebrew potentially for the upset he'd become 12-2 4-2 on the 12-2 month 42nd day but you have this 51 here that just kind of, and it's 51 days since his birthday. Why not become 5-1 for a UFC record? 
Then you can throw in the 131, the 32nd prime against the 32-year-old Anthony Smith. 32 sums to 158. Anthony Smith sums to 158. Um, one thing, though, for Anthony Smith, he can have a part in the Hebrew celebrations as well if he were to win. He can get his 35th win. 35 sums to 128. And it is the 12th day of the 8th month on the Hebrew Civil Lake 128. So they can become the Hebrew calendars. Would that be fun? Yes, because then I can brag and be like, see, Hebrew, haha. Uh -huh. um, but uh, I'm just teasing. But <laughs> the 50 ones are interesting too. And then the 131. Okay, anyway. Uriah Hall, Chris Weedman. Uh, this one's interesting as well. They have patterns for both sides, like always. Uh, it is the 33rd, or today has 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. 33 spelt out, sums to 156. Chris Weedman with a loss can become 15 and 6 for a record. 156. Chris Weedman sums to 198. Jacksonville, Florida, sums to 198. Uriah Hall can become 18 and 9 for a season, for, I was going to say a season record, for a fight record with a win. 189 and 198 are just anagrams of each other. Same numbers, but just in a different, different way. Uh, so that could be some good stuff for Uriah. On the flip side, he could sit on 17 wins for his career in his 17th UFC fight. This being Chris Weedman's 17th UFC fight. 98 days till his upcoming 37th birthday. With the loss, he can become 9-8 and eight for a UFC record like 98. If I type out 17, 17 sums to 37. It being his 17th UFC fight, he can sit on 17 wins with the loss. Chris Reedman's 17th UFC fight. 98 days till his 37th birthday. Become 9 and 8. 98 sums to 53, which is the 16th prime number. And why I'm here, 16 sums to 33. And uh, Hall versus Weedman sums to 53. 98 sums to uh, 53, 53 the 16th prime. Chris Weedman can get a 16th win for his career. 16 sums to 33, 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. So some interesting numbers there either way. The 33 can go either way for Chris Weedman. It could be 16 sums to 33 gets a 16th win, or it could be 33 sums to 50, 156. And he becomes 156. Valentina versus Jessica. First uh, title fight of the night. First potential upset narrative that I was kind of liking, but I don't know. Kind of unsure about it. Women's flyweight sums to 204, and it sums to 66, and 317 days till Valentina's next birthday which is the 66 prime number, she could become 20 and 4 for a fight record with a loss. 24, 204, women's flyweight, 66. The 66 could be boosted by 33 date numerology on the Gregorian, 33 sums to 66. Valentina's 33 years old. It's the 49th day of her 33-year-old age. 33 and 49 date numerology on the Gregorian. Seems pretty interesting. Jessica, uh, Jessica, her, she can be, she can get a 22nd uh, win for her career as she becomes 2-2 two and two for title fights in her career, like 22. It's the 212th day of her age. It's the 114th day on the Gregorian. 114 spelt out, sums to 212, 212th day of her age. She comes into this fight 21 and 8 for a fight record. It's the 218th day on the Hebrew Civil, like 21 8. 
you know, I, I want to just say tomorrow is the 219th day on the Hebrew Civil. And she's just a, a day shy, becoming 21-9 with the loss. That's what I want to say. Um, Valentina, if she were to win, she would get her 21st win for her fight career as she becomes 102 or 10-2 and two for a UFC record with the win, 21 Equals 102. 21 equals 141 as well. And uh, 33 date numerology, 33 sums to 141. So it could just be the 21 connection to the uh, 33. And speaking of 33 and threes, Valentina could just sit on three losses with the win instead. So I was really liking, I was like, man, 204, 66, 317, 204. That's what jumped out at me at first. And then I was kind of like the 22, she becomes 2-2 two and two in title with the win. Getting the title with an upset. Um, but at the same time, the 21 makes sense as well. She could become 10-2. and two. It's, the third, it's the 49th day of a 33-year-old age where she can get her 21st win. 33 and 49, date numerology. 21 sums to 141. 33 sums to 141. So, um, right, let's keep it going. S second title fight. Uh, Zhang Weili versus Rose Namajunas. I think I pronounced probably both of their names wrong. Now, this is a fight that would make people hate Gematria, I believe. If Rose doesn't win this fight, I think people using Gematria, picking Rose, would probably hate Gematria and its affinity. And I say that because today is the 114th day of the Gregorian year. 114. It's also the 12th day of the second month on the Hebrew religious. You can also look at it as 2 slash 12, like 212. And I've already shown this 100 14 sums to 212, 212. So you have this 114, 212 on both calendars. Um, <laughs> Zhang Weili, she sums to 114. And if she were to lose this fight, she would become 21 and 2 for her fight career. 212, 114 sums to 212, 114 day on the Gregorian. 12th day of the second month, or it's the I don't know how you'd say the, the second month, but it could be the 2 slash 1, 2, like 2, 1, 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just fumbling. But Rose, she would just become 11 and 4, like 114. Again, Zhang Weili, 114, as she becomes 21 and 2, 114, sums to 2, 1, 2, on the 114th of the Gregorian. 12, 2, 2, 1, 2. Zhang Weili would end her 21 fight win streak as Rose gets her second win in a row. 2 1 2, 1 2, 2 1 2. Rose Namajunas sums to 83. She would become 8 and 3 for a UFC record like 83. So this is a fight to where if Rose does not upset and win the belt, you might as well just give up on Gamacia, right? Like, what would be the point? What would be the point for Zhang Weili to sum to 114 on the 114th day for her to, and she, you know, she doesn't become 11 and 4 and she doesn't become 21 and 2, where 114 sums to 212. It's like, man, Gamitria sucks, right? But here's the thing Zhang Weili sums to 60 and 156. 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. 33 sums to 156 and 60. Saying Wheelie could just become 6 and 0, like 60 for a UFC record with the win. You know? 12th day of the second month on the Hebrew. The reflection of this number is 221. 122, 221. She could become 221 instead of the 21 2. And with the 83 connection, 8 and 3, Rose can actually become, become 2 and 3, like 23 for title fights for her career. 83 is the 23rd prime number. It's her fifth title fight for her career. It's her 11th UFC fight for her career. UFC 11 is the fifth 
prime number. She would get her fifth loss for her career in her 15th fight. 15 is the fifth triangular number. Let's see if I got those right. 11, fifth prime, 15, fifth triangular. So, yeah, so if Rose doesn't win, Gamachia sucks, right? But I can make a case for Zhang Lili winning too with the 60, the 221 with the reflection, 23, 5, 11, 5th prime, get her to her 5th loss, 15, 5th triangular. Could just be as simple as a 60. And it's like, no, she becomes 2 and 1, ends the 21, the 2 1 2, 21 2, 11 4. I mean, that's. I think it's a 60, though, probably, most likely. Make people hate Gematria. And then Kamaru versus Jorge. Dun, dun, dun. Ba -dun -bum -bum -bum. Main title fight. Uh, Jorge, uh, let's see, let's see. So we got a Hebrew civil conundrum on this one. It's the 12th day of the 8th month on the Hebrew civil, the 218th day of the Hebrew civil year, 218-128. Anagrams of each other already, and it's the same calendar. 218 or 128-218. So the conundrum is where Kumaru Usman become 18-2 and two for a career record with the loss, which is an anagram of 218-128. Or will he get his 18th win in a row? Jorge Masvidal will get his second loss in a row, 218-812, as Jorge Masvidal becomes 12-8 and eight for a UFC record with a loss. This is 20 at the UFC fight. Kamaro can molly whop him 2 0 head to head against in his 20th fight for his career. Kamaro. Jorge Gamebred Masvidal equals 191. This fight taking place in Jacksonville, 191. 191 is the 43rd prime. Jacksonville sums to 43 as well. Kamaro Usman could become 19 and 1 with the win, like 191. Um. Jorge Masvidal, though, he can become 13-7 and seven for a UFC record with a win. 137 is the 33rd prime number, 33 date numerology on the Gregorian. Uh, but sitting right next to that 33 is a 15, and he could just get his 15th loss for his career. But when we speak of the number 14, I think we should highlight this light blue as well. I'm going to do the 43, 14th prime, 191, the 43rd prime. Maybe it's not the 191 for Kamaru, and it, it's just Jorge sitting on 14 losses for his career. 190, 40, 60, 15, 98. Um, today does have 49 date numerology on the Gregorian. 49 sums to 117, like 117. Jorge Masvidal can end his one-fight lose streak as he ends Usman's 17-fight win streak. 117. It is 17 days till Kumaru's next birthday. 17 or total span of 18. So you can either look at just the 17 or you can combine the 17 and the 18. It's Kumaru's 14th UFC fight. Maybe that adds for Jorge Masvidal sitting on 14 or at the same time 43, the 14th prime number. 43 sums to 140, and it could just become 14 and 0, like 140, with a win. Uh, Jorge Masvidal, he is 36 years old, so he could be looking at getting his 36th win for his career. He was 35 years old the last time he fought Kumaru. He had a birthday, turned 36. He stayed on 35 when he was 35 years old against the Kamaru, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare Usman, which sums to 149, the 35th prime number. Is he going to keep him there on that 35, or is he going to advance to 36? 36. I didn't look at this. 36, 53, 91, 55. 16th prime, 16 sums to 33. Let's 
164, 163. Jorge Masvidal. Usman versus Masvidal, 215. Jorge Masvidal, 215. 136 to 16th. Triangular number. He also sums to 55. So, yeah, that could be that 36. 36 sums to 55. And 53, the 16th prime. And his name sums to 55 and 136, the 16th triangular. I wonder if the 164. 164. 265, 248. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, oh, Kamaru Usman, 164. Dun, dun, dun. So Kamaru Usman, 164, 164th day of Jorge Masvidal's 36-year-old age. You can get that 36 win. And then you got that 182 in there that you could throw in there. If you wanted to. Um, yeah. So that would be the biggest thing I would say for Jorge. It would be this 164. 164. 36 year old. Alright. Well hopefully this helps. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.